今日の練習は以上ですお疲れ様でした You definitely need to do something about、uh, Murasaki's low self-esteem right now It's just that nobody understands Murasaki right now Not even Yuki, her own sister She needs to voice out this this, this pressing matter that she needs to I don't think she will, so someone needs to figure her out Maybe Yuki will eventually, I don't know, we have to find out Oh, yeah, actually, I also just noticed too that she puts her magazines upside down instead of like upright. Yeah, but I think it makes sense because, well, it's easier to pull the magazine down than to take it out, you know, in my opinion. Why? Is it because your waist are big? <laughs> your waist are bigger than Reina's, that's why? Waist. I'm pretty sure it's the waist. Oh, so it's the boobies, not the waist, I see. But are you saying that Reina's boobies don't get in the way as much as yours and Maki's? What? <laughs> Uh, really? <laughs> I mean, Velcro is still good, you know. But yeah, technology has changed a lot of things. Maenisa, what does she got game by the AK no Naga in magazine? Oh, Ligukara Nuko to stay, oh, by you, Union, you stay there. <laughs> hey, that's actually a good thing, you know. The fact that you, you distracted the enemy is a good thing, you know. You know? <laughs> but of course, that only works if the enemy is a guy. If the enemy is a girl, I don't think so. <laughs> well, pals is because they know you, but if it's but if it's female enemies, female enemies won't give a shit. To some extent, yes. But big chests are good too for women for men to see. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
we knew a few volumes ago. Yeah, that's why, you know, and that's why she didn't want to wear any protective gear, you know. She didn't want to feel the fear of getting strangled. Shimago? Huh? What's a Shima? But even then, I think you still give her the fear of that strangling feeling. Even if it's still even if it's dangling around her neck. Oh, she's, she's, o, she's okay with a uh, army scarf dangling around her neck. Okay, all right. Oh, that's me, Haruto. Seems like we're not in Haruto's perspective anymore, seeing that we can now see his face. How's it going? What? What? <laughs> I mean, it was just purely coincidental, okay? What? I assure you that it's not intentional. <laughs> and why can't I ogre your chest? <laughs> this makes me want to put up a poll on Twitter. What? <laughs> What do you think about girls who flaunt their goods but get mad when you look at them? <laughs> you do flaunt your goods, you know, so... Are you sure? If I leave now, you won't be able to get your stamp for today's lesson. Yeah, at least let me get, give you a stamp and then I'll leave. Oh, here's Arisaka with a stamp. <laughs> You need Hanko, okay? しかたがないよ。練習の段階終了過程証明には教官とは別に作戦担当指揮官とクラスタンニーの反抗がいるんだから。I guess this means you to finally pass the first stage. What? I mean, I know you've been trying hard. Gumi has already started the second stage, you know? Makes sense. It, what? Hey, Murasaki, you're here. But what do you mean? See you, folks. What do you mean, Otsukare? You're leaving already, Murasaki? Oh. Okay, makes sense. Alright. Just don't be a loner again, like, like, like last time. Uh, Soka, sure? Ah, uh, okay. Can you be at least more social? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Who was that? Your sister. How are you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah. There's some memory problems, yeah, amnesia problems that Murasaki explained before. Yeah. Yeah, she just recovered. Hmm, I think there's more to it than that. Yeah, there's definitely more to it than that though. Probably her depression about her sister. But hey Yuki, you can't just you can't just let this you know problem exist, you know. You can't just let it let it unresolved, you know. You have to solve this. Yeah, what's so complicated? Uh, well, why? Try to explain. 
、私なんかが興味範囲で聞いていい話じゃないとは思うけど。それでも最近の紫を見てると放っておけないんだよね珍しく風邪をひいたのだってそのことが無関係ってわけでもなさそうだしさあその辺のことは私も少し気になってはいたんですよねそもそもゆうきさんとマスターはどうであったの<笑>えっ、ガスト、どっちかしゅう、あすめな。そっち、そっちが気になっちゃう感じですか<笑> ?The jealous question. <笑> so we're going, she's going to talk about how. 私とハルトが出会ったのは、ミネソタの刑務所よ。Wait, what? When you first met Haruto, both of you are doing time in the prison? Wait, Haruto was in prison? Okay, that's something new. そこで私とハルトは同じ棒だったの。私が上のベッドでハルトは下だった。でも、you know they were in prison。あの当時は二人ともまだ若くてね。二人して何度も脱獄を試みては失敗したり、辛いことも多かったし、苦しかったけど。How did they even, how did they even get in prison in the first place? Maybe they play prank, play p r a n k or something? やがて二人とも出所してそれっきり。再会したのは三年後の日本だったわ。I would like, definitely like to know more about their history. 刑務所にいた私にまともな仕事があるわけもなくて、その日を食べていくために人には言えないような仕事をしていた私。Well, I, I can figure what kind of jobs you're doing. 社会の底辺に首までどっぷりと使って駅の階段に座り込んで灰色の空を見上げていた私の前にハルトは突然現れたわ。It's kind of a bit funny that Yuki remembers the past with Haruto and all that, but she doesn't remember her, her old self. <laughs> What her true self actually is. Maybe, maybe if you remember your past like what you're doing now, you remember your true self, Yuki? こんなところで何をしてるんだっていうハルトに、私は半笑いで答えたの。見ての通りよってね。ハルトは、座り込んでいた私の腕を強く掴むと、無理やり私を立ち上がらせたわ。え痛い、やめてって言っても、ハルトは私の手を離してくれなくて、そのまま引きずるようにして、私をどこかへ連れて行こうとしてるの。どこへ行くのそんな私の問いにも答えてくれないそして気がつけばハルトは私を牛丼屋に連れてきた、oh. <笑> so, ハルトは私を牛丼屋に連れてきた呆然とする私をカウンター席に座らせてそのままハルトはカウンターにパチンと一枚の五百円玉を置くと店員にこれでこいつに腹いっぱい食わせてやってくれって言ったの Feed, feed you. <laughs> yeah, Alright, l l maybe treat you, yeah. Okay. Haruto だって私と同じ境遇お金なんて持ってるわけないそれなのに私のためになけなしの五百円を出してくれた Five hundred yen for a bowl of for beef bowl is actually like gyu gyu don, right? Something like that. Yeah, that's Those, that's about five US dollars. I think it's not too bad, but yeah, but considering that time, I think,、uh, considering her his situation back then, I think it's quite poor, so just like Yuki. But he's so kind, so nice to Yuki. びっくりしてたっけ<笑> This is really sad. Things suddenly took a, took a quite a sad twist. Not say twist, but sad turn. そうですか。お二人の過去にはそんなことが。はい、さあ、かよ、かい。はい、やすかよ、さあ。But in before, <笑> Yuki says this is all lie. You better not tell me this is a lie, okay? <笑>苦労。したんだな
わかるぜ。Yeah, I mean, you, you and Re- Maki and Rena experienced pretty much the same thing. Okay, see? I knew it! <laughs> God damn it! Okay, you all do realize you just made that whole story up, right? <laughs> God damn it! Stupid ninja liar! Yuki! Think about it. There's no way a boy and a girl will be sharing a prison cell. Oh, yeah, that's true. Matching tattoos. <laughs> What's with matching tattoos, though? If I hadn't stepped in, I bet you all would have believed every word of that. How is it so easy for you to make up those lies? God damn it, ninja. But I don't see Murasaki lying. <laughs> only you. You're the only ninja who lies. But I mean, lie for good reason, but not lie for some trivial reasons like this. Or no reason, rather. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, she, you don't mind? Okay, then sure, I don't mind either. There's nothing to hide really, and that would only complicate matters if we hide, yeah. I met Yuki back when Sword was still caught Phantom Trigger. Oh, so Sword used to be caught Phantom Trigger. Ah, I see. Okay, that's how the name Resire Phantom Trigger came about. Yeah, Sword used to be called Phantom Trigger. So, I guess ultimately the Resire Phantom Trigger uh, series will. Yeah, it will definitely. It will ultimately lead back to Haruto and his days back in Phantom Trigger and all that. And that will actually mark the main story of Resire Phantom Trigger, right? Yeah, What? Oh, really? Yeah, I suppose that's technically true, but let's omit that part for now. Or else it's going to be a long story. Why why omit that? I want to know more. Okay. Oh, in classroom? I was already in, I was already in active service when a new student joined Class A. Ikoma Yuki. For the higher ups applauded her successful retrieval of Taiga Sama. Oh yeah. I remember she said about Taiga Sama she she went to save the young, the very young Taiga Sama back then. They rebooked her for killing all the kidnappers on the scene, leaving her with nowhere to go. Oh, okay. So, plot and reboot at the same time. That's when Ichiru san got interested and decided to take her in. So, Ichiru is the, the, the vice principal, right? Her chest was still as flat as a board back then, and she was even more standoffish than she is today, so she used to be very anti social. Okay. After that, she ate a lot and all that. <laughs> Get well fed. But that's now. We're talking about back then. Back then, you're very antisocial and all that. But yeah, you've been well fed. <laughs> and squeezing them together like that doesn't prove anything. Yeah, it only proves. It doesn't prove. It doesn't change the fact that you were fat back then. What? <laughs> Well, there are, there are more things, but... Well, we worked together for about a year. Another lie of yours, Yuki. Shhh! <laughs> um, what? Um, no. No. Well, it's all in the past. Hey, don't talk about it. Yeah, I'm not sure if so it's none of your business. 
Yes, this means I have to talk the uh doesn't matter, doesn't it? No, can I not? <sighs> fine, fine. You're just going to pester me about this until I, I tell you the whole story, aren't you? Alright then. Okay, so another history. I was the youngest member on my master's team. Oh, he had a master. I guess the master is the one who taught him uh, sword skills. Yeah. And as you know, I've always been a terrible shot. My master always told me I was too young to handle guns, so she had me start out with blades instead. Oh, your master is a she! Ah, just like, um, uh, Yuma was a, Yuma's master was also a female. Yeah, I wonder if Haruto's master is still alive. I mean, not Yuma, uh, Yuji, right? Yeah, Yuji, not Yuma, my bad. I began by training with knives, and soon I was ready to move on to swords. I could easily obtain quality knives from Asagaya, but getting my hands on a decent sword proved to be much more difficult. My only recourse was to borrow my master's, and she was hesitant to lend it to me too often, since I was still too, ex too inexperienced. And if I took the liberty of borrowing it without permission, she would notice right away. And you, you're the one who made a sword for him, but, but you're mostly specialized. You mostly specialize in um, artillery weapons, right? As in gun, gunnery and all that. Not really in swords, right? So you actually is able to forge. Uh, close range weapons for Aruto too? I mean, knives I would understand, but swords? At first I, start, uh, at first I asked Yamamoto-san's master, but he was having none of it. Swords aren't for kids, he said. Oh, even with Yamamoto has a master too. Interesting, so Yamamoto and Haruto also had a history way back. Okay, so the English translation only just said crying a river, begging her for saw, but yes, yeah, you can hear if you understand Japanese, uh, Haruto, so I say. Please give me a sword! Please give me a sword! Onei-chan, please give me a sword! <laughs> yeah, she was... Haruto was, was saying that to Yamamoto. Oh, <laughs> he broke it. Within half a day. Actually half a day, not a couple hours. It's half a day. <laughs> you really blame me when the blade was already bent out of shape after only a couple of swings? Then what? Then why did you make such a piece of junk for me? <laughs> what I wanted was a sword, not a toy. <laughs> you don't believe in Haruto. Haruto is serious when he said he wanted a sword, like a genuine sword. <laughs> but you say he didn't want to. In spite of all that, Yamamoto-san's master still refused to make me a sword. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, it was Yamamoto who helped to forge a sword for Haruto. So somehow, Yamamoto, as in this lady right here, managed to learn how to forge a sword just for Haruto. But she mainly specializes in guns, right? So a gunsmith, not a swordsmith. But just for Haruto, he forged the, the perfect katana, the perfect sword for, for Haruto. All I wanted was a katana, a sword. But nobody was willing to make me one. 
I really didn't know what to do. さあないからうちが責任取ってまともな刀を打ったることになってんけどうちの師匠とハルトの師匠かな。Uh? You're not ready yet. 要はうちもハルトもまだまだ未熟やからあかんっちゅう話や。ということはうちは師匠を納得させる刀を打って見せるしかない。Oh, nice. And for my part, I decided I had to learn the kind of assassination techniques that would convince my master I was worthy of such a sort. I decided a ninja would be the best person to consult when it came to sword techniques. Yeah, definitely. And that's how I ended up talking to Yuki. Oh, I see. Actually, this volume really makes me learn a lot more about Haruto, yeah. As we are building up to the volume where we will learn everything about Haruto's past and all that. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good warm up. So, I'm going to ask you to ask me 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 to Of course, he won't give up. To use an analogy, I assumed he was trying to tell me there's no way somebody who's driven go karts a few times as a kid is suddenly going to become an F1 racer.、Um, nice reference, <laughs> nice comparison there. I want to know what I want, but I don't want to be a good person. I 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 want to be a good person. But I guess what Haruto did was he tried to blend in with the community, with the village. Because I want to become the best swordsman ever.、Well, you're from a long established family of ninja swordsmiths, the family that inherits the Mura name.、Uh. Mura? Well, I'm not really. I don't really know much about samurais in detail, but okay. We reached Sword Yukimura and Shadow Sword Murakumo.、Mm. I mean, I don't live in Japan, so I don't really know much about Japan history, just a bit here and there. Okay. What can I say? I was young. I thought if I mastered their legendary skills, I could take on anybody. Even my master. So I went to Yuki's house, begging her family to teach me. Oh, you even got a photo? Let's see. I want to see it. All petted and flat. <laughs> Hey, why can't I see the photo? <laughs> why is Yuluri? <laughs> But come on, I want to see Aruto when he was young. Oh, oh she, she's drooling. Yeah. Oh? You mean there's a third, there's a third kid? Oh, Murasaki. Oh, Murasaki. Well, at least she's better now, but still gloomy. I mean, whenever she sees her sister. Wait, you have a photo of all three kids naked? <laughs> What? Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's r i g I guess back then they were living in the village, so you know it wasn't as strict as if you, if you live in the city. Yeah, in the village you can be as free as you want, you know? Yeah.、Mm. 
Now let's dive in the village. あ、川遊びって言っても、ハルトのあまりがみんなでいじってあ、勝手意味じゃないわよ。もう、エッチね。うん。うん。インシュアバダ。私は何も言ってねえだろうが、そうやって私をそういうことにしようとすんのやめろ
Oh yeah, she she said that earlier in the in the modern time. Yeah, do have cell network coverage, though they are out in the boonies. Oh, I see. Okay. You know, I'm happy about having these modern conveniences. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed because I was expecting something more traditional. But it's well, it's nothing. But it's pretty modern. Yeah, but I didn't realize you meant there wasn't anything interesting here. I feel bad for asking, but is this really the kind of place that would shelter the tradition of secret ninja arts? Oh, sushi! Oh, nice. In before the sushi is made of modern technology, <laughs> modern equipment. I followed after Yuki as she led me across rather along the asphalt paved road to her family home. The air wasn't as stuffy as you would expect from a valley surrounded by mountains. But it was quite humid, so I was sweating buckets after just 10 minutes of walking. I mean, in this village, sure, there won't be any air conditioner, no AC. Yuki explained that, as people started putting air conditioning in their homes, that resulted in more energy consumption, making the summers even hotter. Oh wait, so there are air there is air conditioning in this village too, but then the air conditioning actually resulted in more energy consumption, so making the summers even hotter? Okay. I had no intention of complaining, of course, but it was still rather exhausting trudging through the heat while going inside. When I asked her how far we still had to go, Yuki pointed ahead with a smile and said that we could see it already. She was pointing at what looked like the gate of a Buddhist temple. Abby was the front gate of the home. Oh, she lives in, she lived in a Buddhist temple. Ah, okay. Actually, this is quite a nice looking traditional house. Yeah, the kind of house that I would definitely uh, die to live in. <laughs> like, definitely want to try living in, you know. Yeah, but this kind of house you only really find in Japan. Yeah, and maybe China. But no, actually. More like Japan with these sliding doors and all that and the tatami mat. Yeah. We passed through the gate and followed a walkway shaded by large greenery, then arrived at a set of stone stairs. After the climb it was another 10 minute walk to the main house. Other than one two story section, it was a large one story building. It looked like a typical ninja house to me. Aside from the AC units on the walls and the minivan parked in the wooden barn, I wondered how that minivan had gotten up those stone stairs, but that turned out to be no mystery. Behind the main building, there was a paved road running up the hill. Okay. The stone stairway and the luxurious, or, the, or rather the luxuriant vegetation, were reminders of the house past, being preserved as they were just for the sake of keeping up appearances. Oh, welcome to the inside of the house here. Yeah. This is the typical traditional Japanese house. Yeah. This is actually more of like a temple. Yeah, but considering it works and all that, but yeah, this is what is typical of a traditional Japanese home. And there's a katana samurai kata katana on top. Yeah, I think this is the the yeah, all the ancestral stuff, you know, the ancestral photos and the offerings and all that on this cabinet, in this cabinet. After leading me into the house, Yuki went to call went to go call her dad, leaving me behind in the living room. It seemed needlessly spacious by modern standards. The smell of incense filled the air. Well, I mean, old traditional Japanese homes tend to be pretty spacious. It didn't seem like they were constantly burning incense to the air. So I, I was saying this cabinet is for burning incense. The scent had just permeated the building over the years. The door to the veranda was open, letting in a pleasant breeze, and I was overcome by a sense of nostalgia. It was a window to the ideal image of the countryside, as perfect and idyllic as in a movie. Oh. And this is the Murasaki team. So this is Murasaki and Yuki's father. Okay. I wonder where. Yeah, I was just wondering where Yuki and Murasaki's parents are now. 
we probably they are still living here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dobo. Hajime Mashite. Karuto des. Dobo. Ikoma ke jumachi dai me toshu. Ikoma sada toki des. Okay, Ikoma sada toki. Eighteen feet of the Ikoma clan. Kimi ga Haruto kun ka. Uasa wa kite iru. Uh, you heard a lot about me. Uasa. Wa kite iru. Yada, Oto san. Kinto shite iru no? So this is the point where uh, Yuki said that she and like and Haruto were almost engaged. They yeah, almost engaged. <laughs> okay. Yuki's dad awkwardly cleared his throat. He reached out for the cup of tea that Yuki, now sitting at the head of the table, had caught him and took a seat. He looked like a real sort of in those workers' clothes. The tower wrapped around his sun tent for him. I estimated him to be in his 40s, though his dignified aura made him look like he could be in his mid 50s. I guess. When he reached into his breast pocket and began fishing around, Yuki immediately went to get an ashtray from the corner of the room. Feeling perfect sync, so he smokes. Oh, so this is Yuki and Murasaki's mother, Yuko. Okay. Additional clothing. Hello, Dobo. Haruto des. こんな田舎までわざわざお疲れでしょ。どうか足を奥寿司になってください。大したものはご用意できませんが、今お食事も整いますから。あ、はい。おいおい。ハルト君が飯を食いに来たわけじゃないぞ。はい。I mean, yeah。いいんだよ。こんな状況で飯を食ってもうまくはなかろう。話が済んだら、若い者だけで街のレストランにでも行けばいいさ。No, I don't want to go to a restaurant. I want to enjoy a traditional Japanese dinner right here, okay? Yes. Yeah, I'm also looking forward to it. いいからもう下がっていなさい。Hey, don't chase her away. Yuki, お前もだ。what? Why do you want to chase the girls away? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> if you say so, private chat with men, okay? Right? <laughs> yeah? <sighs> okay, fine. Hi. Sate Haruto-kun. Um, no, you don't know. I'm not here to get married to Yuki, okay? <laughs> Hi, I'm sure you do. Zumari, no. <laughs> Seriously, no. What? Uh, no, actually. I came here to hoping to learn the secret ninja arts that have been passed down in this village. I'm a little surprised. How did you end up with that misinformation? Oh yeah, and this is the point where the, the guy will say, No, I don't want to teach you anything, right? And no, no, that was you know, that was another story. The thing with Oh wait. You know no, that was another story. That was uh, with uh, Yamamoto. Yeah, but this one is Haruto now trying his luck with uh, Yuki's dad. Ozo. Ozo. Dewa. Yes, Waza. The sword that can defeat my enemies in a single blow. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go out on a job with my master, and her techniques are amazing. I can't really explain what it is about them, but they're just incredible to watch up close. They give me this feeling that she could kill anyone she wanted to. I suppose it's a sort of confidence. That confidence is the foundation of her style. She makes no unnecessary moves. Perhaps it's a way of never doing something unworthy of her blade, as a famous swordsman often said. That, it seems, is the mark of true skill. She doesn't want to teach me. <laughs> well, you see, when you, get down to it, her, when you get down to it, her techniques are sham. Oh, really? So she just. So it's not really true techniques? I don't sense any of the sincerity, decency, and honor I expect from a true swordsman. 
When I told her that, she said sword fighting is nothing more than drawing your sword and striking your enemy, which is definitely not true. I mean, that that is on a surface level. Yeah, but if you want to dive down into true sword fighting, yeah, it's not that. It's, it's definitely more than drawing your sword and striking your enemy. And moreover, that she had nothing to teach me as long as I didn't understand the ramifications of that. No. I fight because for the for humanity. Muzukashi <laughs> setsumon, uh, or rather, Muzukashi shitsumon desne. Put a positive spin on it. I fight to bring about change in the world. I was close. <laughs> yeah, I was close to the right answer. I say fight for humanity. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually to bring about change in the world. But to be honest, I just do it because I can. And in life, being uncharitable about, uh, uncharitable with myself, it's somewhat of a game to me. Who seriously questions themselves about why they're playing a game? There's an element of that too. Sorry, I must sound like a like such a millennial to you, but I have no intention of lying when it comes to my reasons for wanting to learn your secret arts yet. It's it's important to be honest. That would be like a patient lying to their do doctor. You only delay the healing process. <laughs> I like how Haruto always uses metaphors like this, like out of nowhere. <laughs> metaphors yeah, that, that are like out of nowhere to compare things and such. Okay. Uh, here to time. Okay, there has to be a, an underlying reason, right? 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 Yeah, there has to be an underlying reason for that. For Haruto. Basically, I'm just an inexperienced guy looking for some useful skills. But why swords in particular? Why not guns, Haruto? My hope is that if I can manage to obtain a so called secret art, my master will finally acknowledge me. Oh, yeah, because, because his master uses swords, right? Yeah, uses a sword. So he wants to do the same. But it's like, yeah, that's why it has to be sought specifically. Hmm. Okay, any more questions you want to ask me? Dewa! So, how do I prove myself to you? Eh? Okay. So are you saying that I have to marry Yuki, then you will teach me? <laughs> so... Yes, ka. Yes, yo ne. Eh, I guess you're right. But still... Hi. But I can't go home... I can't go home empty-handed after boasting to my master that I was going to learn a secret ninja art. I plan to stay in this village as long as it takes for you to decide to teach me. Yo. Well, <laughs> let me stay, please. <laughs> of course, and I bet Yuki's listening too. <laughs> yeah, this this Sadako, Sadatoki guy is definitely yeah very like outdated, you know, outdated man. Because you know in the past. Men always like, men when they, how they treat women is like, this is none of your business, this is all men's talk, can you women stay out of this? Yeah, that, that's typical of, you know, old fashioned men, yeah. Definitely, yes. You cannot just give up. Thank you for the advice, Yuko. Hi, yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. So you're saying the same thing about your husband, right? Your husband is the same thing. That's why you married her. Uh, you married him, right? Well, go ahead. 
I wasn't expecting him to agree to teach me the moment I asked. I came there prepared to hold out until he finally gave me what I was after. If he didn't want to teach a stranger, then I just had to make sure we got better acquainted. Yeah, nice move there. Well, I have to have the guards, you know. Also, this is Yuki's room. I mean, this look definitely looks modern as well, the, the mini PC there. Yeah. I am sorry for putting you through this. Hey, I want to know. I want to see Murasaki. Where's Murasaki? <laughs> Asked for permission to take leave. If there's an emergency, they can call me back. Yes. But yeah, if I'm going out of my way to learn something, I figured I should make sure that it's the best possible use of my time. I know it's ninja arts. That's I don't know. That's why I want to learn. Nope, no idea. Tell me about that. Yeah, jitsu wa shiranai da. Dona waza nanda. さすがに私が勝手に教えちゃうわけにもいかないかな。里の人間ですら知らない人の方が多い秘伝だからね。ああ、オッケー。それに秘伝の技に関しては昔ちょっとしたトラブルがあってね、里の人間は少しナーバス
I think she's improved quite a bit in that respect, but yeah, I've also improved qu quite a bit in that respect. In the past, I'm even worse, but now I'm, I, I guess I'm a bit better, but still, you know, I don't usually talk unless there's really something interesting, something noteworthy to speak. Then maybe we should actually talk to her, you know, ask, tell her to share her feelings, you know, share what she's feeling. She needs to open up and not keep everything to herself. Just leave it to me. I'll talk to her later. Yeah, Haruto, you better get the words out of her. こういう時のためのターニング教師でもあるわけですから。ふ、あ、いつせそ。そんなわけですので、私ちょっと紫さんとお話ししてきます。オールライト。You're People are worried about her. Well, but I guess in Arisaka's case, I mean, she's. I mean, Murasaki will definitely, will definitely be able to tell that Arisaka is worried about her, but. And I mean, Arisaka is genuinely. is the one who genuinely shows her feelings, so. I think, I guess maybe in, Muras, in Arisaka's case, Murasaki will make an, an, will make an exception for her? No? Pretty sure Haruto did? Ah, that's kind of hard to answer. I didn't really acquire them myself, and yet I do have them at my disposal. Hmm, what do you mean? Did you secretly learn the secret art? Well, I guess we'll find out another time.